Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about how to make the slip form cob forms. They're actually really easy, but I've had a lot of questions about how I build them. And I've experimented with a couple different methods over the years. And I'll show you um, my preferred method, which is right here. And another method that I've tried in the past that's not um, quite as easy. And I'll show you the little uh, pieces that I use to put the forms together and what kind of mesh to use. So to get started, you'll see my form here and it's simply built out of 2x4s. The whole frame is just built to the height and length dimensions that I want with 2x4s. So it's really easy to put together. Just use your typical screws um, and screw together your form. So all you need are basic tools, um, an impact driver, a circular saw, and um, that's pretty much it. And just a couple measuring and marking tools. So actually making the forms, the, um, the box itself is really easy. Now the, the trickiest part is finding the correct metal mesh. So you'll see this old example I made here, this I had a metal mesh that I thought was going to be strong enough, um, but when you put cob into it, this metal mesh actually bows and flexes, and so it creates small bulges in the wall. So you want to make sure that your metal mesh is thick enough. I like this. This is six gauge metal mesh wire and it's also important to have holes that are not too big so these are actually about as large as I would go for holes these are um, I think they're one and a half by one and a half so it's good to get at least uh, this size or smaller which it can be challenging to find I recommend going to a metal supermarket as they're called uh, where they specialize in all they sell are metal pieces. So that's usually where you can find heavy gauge metal mesh with small holes. Some people use or have considered using um, hog panel or cow panel, which is the correct gauge, but the holes are too big. I believe they're three inches or four inches, um, three by three or four by four, which is really too big for what we're doing here because the cob is going to spill through those holes too much. So um, getting back to the form itself. Now I've tried this method in the past of using pieces of steel or metal and welding the whole forms together. This in my opinion is way too much work. It's also way too heavy and it's a lot more expensive. So unless you're doing cob building on like a professional contractor level, there's no sense, in my opinion, investing in metal forms like that. If I was going to do metal forms, I would use aluminum, which in that case would even be more work and more expense. So for pretty much anybody's project, the most practical way to build your slip forms is just to use 2x4s. Um, you don't need 2x6s. I really don't see a need. The 2x4 is thick enough. You're not putting nearly as much pressure into these forms as you would with rammed earth. So the forms don't need to be so robust, which is great. Now, um, attaching the metal mesh onto the wood frame, all I use are these fencing nails. These are one and a quarter inch fencing nails. Simply lay your mesh on there and then nail it on with the little U-shaped nails. So these are really easy to build. Um, I built a whole set of these for my small building in a day. Um, they're really pretty simple. So the last thing you're gonna need for forms is your threaded rods and your brackets that attach. So 
Um, I'll leave in the description the company that I buy these from. The name is a little hard to remember, so I'll leave it down below. But these brackets will thread onto your rods. And um, these are eventually going to go through your holes. in your forms and then you clamp them which basically connects the interior form with the exterior form and that's these are what holds the whole thing together and then at the end you take them off And then these will come out of the cob wall at the end. And a lot of people ask me, how are those rods going to come out of the cob wall once you've put cob all around them? And um, they surprisingly don't have any problem because um, when cob dries, it slightly contracts away from the rod, um, leaving just enough gap. Um, sometimes they're a little tight. Literally all you have to do is just take a hammer and tap them out. And it doesn't damage the cob wall at all. Um, it's really easy to get these out. So you don't need to worry about that. Another important note to make is make sure you put your rods actually through the framing and don't put the rods through the wire. Because that bracket you want that bracket tightening right against the frame, not tightening against your wire mesh. So when you build your forms, create, um, forms are always built in a set. So you're gonna have an interior set and an exterior set. So build your set, lay them flat on top of each other, and then, um, it's really good if you have some sort of a drill press, but what you want to do is drill that hole um, vertically through both sets so that those holes line up between the interior and the exterior set or, or form. So that way um, your forms are aligned at the correct level and spacing. Okay guys, if you have questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I'll help you figure this out. It's actually really easy. Um, and I'll leave the name of the company where I get the brackets from as well down there in the uh, description and the comments. If you guys want to learn how to do this hands-on, um, sign up for one of my upcoming workshops. We're going to be building a slip form cob wall back there starting in April. Um, that will continue through May, June, and July. So um, you can come do this hands-on with me here. Also, this method is now in the video course. I have um, the video tutorials on how to build using this system in the video course, along with updates on how I do foundations and roofing attachments and um, lime plaster new information so that's all down below in the description if you want to get those things so um, there's a lot more information for me to share with the new slip form cob method if you guys have particular questions or uh, video requests on this please let me know that too and I'll, I'll make some more videos on this so thanks for watching